So here's the test setup. We've got uh, power coming into the first variac here, and then the output of the first variac feeding into the second variac, and then the output of that feeds into this coil up here. Here's a close up of the coil. The coil is uh, 20 centimeters of nichrome wire loosely wound in a coil, and uh, for now I've just twisted it on to the end of these uh, higher temperature wires here. and. Um, of course we need something more permanent for production use. For my first test I'm just going to paint it with a very small amount of plumber's flux. I don't know what temperature the flux melts at but I know it's a lot lower than um, the auto ignition temperature we need so this is a fairly low temperature way of um, testing it. So I'm just going to turn it up. Here we go and uh, that's about four volts it started to smoke so um, that's uh, just over just just getting close to that five amp figure so um, now I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up till it glows red and here we go um, that's 6.3 volts and I'm going to try a little test. Okay. Takes a while, but you can get all the auto ignition of butane. Now, I should be able to turn it up a bit more. Still stay within the ratings of the Variac. Okay, now we're running at about 8 volts, so about, um, it'll be about 9 amps, which is about as high as the Variax rated for. And at this temperature, we get auto-ignition pretty much right away. So, there you go.